Hi, Leo. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. So this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. So let's see. No contact. What's going on right now in the situation? So for some of you watching this, you could be maybe starting something new in your life or maybe you, okay, so I'm getting that both of you here, there's a sense of a bit of calculated energy, but not in a way, it's like kind of like there's a feeling of definitely unspoken energy. I mean, the high priestess coming up here and then the ace of wands, it feels like this is there's a sense of you both kind of wanting to test the waters, okay? So um, with the Nine of Wands here, it does feel like a lot of waiting. So even if you don't feel that way entirely, that's what's coming up here. So I do feel like for you, though, the viewer, you've had some type of shift recently, maybe in your spiritual path. I'm getting a lot of maybe crown chakra energy for you. There's something to do with you having a new spark. This could be a new spark in a connection, like a new person, or this could be just like you have a new spark in your life. You have a new... Um, yeah, just a new spark forward in your life somehow. And I feel like this person though, they are somebody who's been having a blocked heart chakra maybe for a while. And I feel like the way that they're coming up here, they could be spending a lot of time alone. They could be spending a lot of time just really trying to, it's almost like they're trying to figure out what's going on in their life. They're trying to figure out you, but also they're trying to figure out their own life right now. So they're very much spending some time alone and they've had a blocked heart. They've had a hard time when it comes to, I'm hearing that they, they don't really want to, they have a lot of ego. This person does have ego issues or ego, pride, th that pride that they've been working through. So I feel like they are somebody who's coming across as a bit standoffish, but not in a way of, interestingly enough, I mean, I feel like this person is somebody who does feel still kind of like bound to you almost in a way. I don't know if I would use the word bound, but there's something that they feel kind of attached to you still. And I feel like you are actually somebody who you either, you were the one who either ended things or you acknowledge that there is kind of a new start coming in maybe for you, like I said before. So this person could also be somebody who has secrets. They are somebody with the Knight of Swords here and the, and the Hermit. They almost like they have things that they don't want to completely share with you. So in this time of no contact, they're kind of holding it together. They're trying to be like almost like glue. You know, they're trying to hold back. They're trying to keep themselves contained. They're trying to not let it out. They're trying to, again, hold themselves back. That's really what I'm getting here. And they feel like you're somebody who's very different than them. They feel like you're somebody who maybe um, you offer something different or you, I don't know, something about that coming up here. But I, I do feel like this person is someone who doesn't feel like they want to be an open book right now during this time. And so I'm hearing that they could have felt that they don't want to cross a certain limit for whatever reason. They don't want to cross a limit maybe with you or whatever the situation could be. It, it kind of feels to me like... This person could, for some of you, not for everybody, but for some of you, they could have tried to maybe date other people or they could have tried to find other people, uh, find you and other people, something like that here. And again, I kind of get here that this person, it's almost like maybe you both have a spiritual connection or there's something here that you with the high priestess and the, and the hierophant too, there may even be some spiritual tie between you both or like telepathy, you know, that you share with each other. And, but I'm getting that, that somebody here has been ignoring their spiritual path, their spiritual journey, which I don't really feel like is you. So it's probably this person. 
And I'm hearing that this person could have been someone who's been going in circles. You know, they've been going in circles in their life. And that's where I mentioned it's almost like they've been trying to find the missing piece of their life. And I mean, some of that could resonate with you too, but I do feel like it's mainly this person. They've been trying to find the missing piece as to certain things in their life that have not been working out, you know, relationships, family, maybe even their job, something here that feels, yeah, what's the missing piece? The Ten of Cups and the Three of Swords. Yes, and I feel like during this time of no contact, I'm hearing that you're similar but different for some reason. So maybe this person, that's how they feel. You're similar but different. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, especially Pisces is coming up here at the High Priestess too. But this person feels a desire to, um, at times, have something with you. But I feel also... I'm here, I'm waiting for the time to be right, the, the Wheel of Fortune. There's a lot of major cards coming up, so there could be a lot of major shifts taking place around this connection recently. This person, they're waiting for the right time in this no contact dynamic to, um, I'm hearing something about like they're waiting for the right time to, like if you kind of picture somebody who's very still and they have not said anything for a while or they have not shared their experiences for a while it's like they're waiting for the time when that can kind of let it rip or let that loose so i'm not sure what it is that they want to say here but i do feel like they have something that they wish to express and it feels like with the nine of swords yeah eight of swords coming up at the bottom it's like they feel a sense of um suppressed energy within them which may not have anything to do with you i mean it could be definitely some of it's about you but other uh, others of it is about them here too this person yeah there's somebody who's been wanting to have their cake and eat it too okay so right now they could either be really focused on their career um king of pentacles or maybe even for some of them they may have pursued something for their ego boost it could have been a connection it could have been i'm not sure it could have been something else definitely feel like it could have possibly been other people okay and they feel like they've been wanting to have their cake and eat it too and i do feel like spirit stepping in here to protect you the viewer from this person coming towards you before they're ready so you could find that this is why you have new things to focus on and i feel like spirit's giving you things to look forward to in your life so that for those of you i mean not everyone's gonna really want this connection that much but if you do that could be one reason why but it feels like um this person's been stopping their own progress in their life without even knowing it because of these situations, because of these circumstances, because of these influences. So they are really going through kind of a choppy time here. Um, Yeah, they do feel like in order for them to actually confront this or in order for them to another, wow, the world, the magician, that's a lot of major cards. They know that they have to do some inner work. They know this, and this is what this person is going through right now, acknowledging that I have to do this inner work to get from here to here if I want to be here. Um, and I do feel like they know this on an intuitive level even if they don't consciously know this somewhere with all these major cards too this person could intuitively know that they do have to do these steps to get to you or to get to this connection so for a lot of you it's probably no contact either for a while or this is a very high spiritual connection here that feels like It, it feels like something here to do, the magician, the world, living a, not doubling, yeah, the two of pentacles. It's like this person has to cut something off or they have to be in a space where they don't feel, so they're, they're not attached to whatever other influences or attachments and they know this. This person is going to try. If they have not, they could almost like want to try to swoop back in. 
but they feel really intimidated almost in a way. So they feel like they have to put on their best moves or they even feel like they have to be really charming or be really smooth in certain ways. Um, either they've done this you know, before or that's how they're thinking about doing it, but that hasn't worked before because you, or it's not gonna work again. If it, if it worked before, it's not gonna work again, I feel. Because you are somebody who can intuitively read them and I feel like you will not stand for that. And, um, but that's how they're feeling right now about you. Again, I'm getting this person does feel very tethered to you. Okay, Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords. Yes, this person, the way that they feel towards you is that they feel kind of attached in certain ways. I'm hearing it's spooky. So maybe this person feels like it's kind of weird. It's spooky. I don't know. With all, again, these major cards coming up, this person could definitely get signs about you. They could feel pulled to you. They could feel like this confuses them. Why do I get signs about this person? And maybe you do as well. So they kind of feel, especially if they were not very spiritual or if, or if they are not, very spiritual they could kind of feel like it's weird you know this whole situation is weird um, but they feel like they have a really hard time so that's probably why I stumbled on my words in the beginning because I'm hearing they have a really hard time voicing how they feel so this person with the magician again I wouldn't be surprised if they will try to do something to come towards you where it's almost like they're going to pretend to be someone they're not you know, they're going to kind of pretend to be someone that has it together. Or they're going to try to pretend to be someone who is not intimidated or who can match your level. But I think that inside they have this kind of broken energy a little bit to where this is why they feel so pulled to you with the Queen of Cups and the Page of Swords. So... Again, they're bringing me back to that message where this person could have been trying to search uh, roaming wild, yeah, shattered. They do feel like there's somebody who has been exploring other options or they've just been doing their own thing for a while. But I keep getting here that it's like there's something maybe about you that they are searching for. This could even be some type of um, maybe a karmic connection or it could even be twin flame, I, I don't know. But it feels like this connection does really mirror back to each other, to you and to them the kind of almost like broken parts of each other and that makes it very difficult but also makes it it's it just feels very unfinished it feels like there's a reason to why this whole thing is drawn out and if you're watching this reading and you resonate with that that's part of the reason too why maybe you still think about this person or you know in this time of no contact um, I'm hearing the name James for somebody. Yes. Some of you, this could have been a very strong physical connection or they feel very, um, yeah, see, look, heart song, telepathy and intuition, very strong intuitive connection definitely between you both. They could feel like there's a lot of chemistry between you. I'm also hearing the name Ryan. Yeah, this person has been journeying inward a little bit more. They've been trying to know a little bit more about themselves. They've been, um, for some I'm getting that they could have gone through like healing from an addiction or this is just metaphorically the way spirit's showing it to me. It's like I'm getting, cutting something cold turkey. So maybe they've been kind of like on and off in cycles in their life. They've been up and down. They've been, they definitely have needed time here to themselves to rethink and to understand more about themselves. They, it's like, I feel, Hmm. Yeah, elusive, conflicted, and infatuation. Like they may have even detached with the hermit, the high priestess from not just you, but other people, other situations around them. They may have decided, I need some time to myself. I need some time to figure this out. 
Um, and I think that during that time, they kind of recognize maybe how intuitive they are or they recognize how much more there is to life or something. So I feel like this person definitely is going through that. So Wow, the death card, the hanged man, the justice, the devil. I mean, these are like all major cards. So for you over here, I'm hearing the name Mary for somebody. Yeah, I kind of think for you here, you've been kind of going with the ebb and flow. You've been going with emotions. I think that you could even be somebody who maybe out of nowhere you start to think about them. Yeah, the devil. The, I feel like you've been um, kind of also going through your ups and downs, you know, and I think that you could be just needing to... It's like I do feel that this whole cycle here for you has also been very difficult. Um, and in different ways, you both have been mirroring this. But I think for you... you've really raised your vibration to a level that it can't really affect you as much. And I think that's where the Ace of Wands is here. I definitely think that you're outgrowing this a little bit. You're outgrowing this situation here. Um, and as you continue to outgrow it, it pushes the whole thing forward into a new form. So... Before, you may have given this person back a taste of their own medicine, maybe indirectly or directly, however that could have been. But I do think that now you're kind of looking above the situation. Ace of Swords, the Ten of Cups, you are... being more honest about your feelings of how you really feel. So, I mean, maybe for some of you, you do also, depending on how that will connect with you, maybe you feel the way that you feel for a reason and you want to accept the way that you feel. But during this time of being in no contact with this person, I feel that you have been able to see the silver lining. You've been able to see um, why maybe this happened from a different perspective, from a different angle, and honoring the fact that this will be kind of an ebb and flow cycle, or honoring the fact that you do feel the way that you feel. So, yes, I'm hearing that moving forward here, something is pushed to a limit, okay? We have drifting. Yeah, so spiritual connection, purifying, and nourish. Honestly, I think that both of you are moving through a time, yeah, I was just going to say, where you both have actually been, it's depending on how long it's been that you've been in no contact, but either way, you've been both working on yourselves individually, and it kind of think, it kind of feels, it kind of thinks, it kind of feels with the judgment and the drifting card that there's a feeling of repair, but it's repairing the self, you know? So it's almost like if you go through, again, therapy or um, being shown like after surgery, but it may not be that you actually had surgery, but it's like your heart maybe had surgery, if that makes sense. Um, you're both going through um healing right now in different ways though that you're mirroring that to each other so this connection is going to be put on ice for a while longer until okay wow eight lovers the eight of wands the chariots Yeah, it feels like 
it's kind of, it does feel to me like this connection is moving towards a time where both of you are claiming kind of your identity and yourselves, which will make it easier to connect again if in the future, you know? So also I'm getting that if one or both of you have been in a cycle where you've had to people please, or there's been even with the Hierophant here too, and the lovers is after the Hierophant, which talks about our own, and actually the chariots after the lovers. So there's a feeling of progression to doing what's right for the self and not what's right for other people. So that could be something too, that there's this like har karmic cycle that that's being broken here. It feels like I'm getting that again, this kind of thing's I, why do I keep saying kind of thinks? I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, kind of feels like both of you are reaching a level of more unconditional love for yourself. And it's really interesting because for some of you, there's a sense of always being connected, you know, no matter what. But it's going to have to kind of reach a time where things calm down and things can be more wholesome for, for the situation to move forward. Okay, so I'm going to pull a few final um, Oracle cards and then we'll leave it there. Okay, so let's see what else. When I was grabbing these cards, I was getting a message here. I heard something like this person is trying to tame their own demons or the, the animal within them or something like that. So that could be something too this person's been trying to do. So let's see if we have any final messages here. You speak to me through music. So that could be definitely with the intuitive um, information coming up here, the heart song, you could definitely connect to each other intuitively through music. I replay our conversations over and over. I know I messed up everything. Yes, it's time for me to heal now. So that's what I was trying to say here over, over here with the judgment. Um, this card just flipped out and then it flipped back in. So I feel like this person wants to kind of admit that, but they have, they're have they having a hard time coming forward to actually admit that. But they're doing a lot of healing. And I think maybe same goes for you. Yeah, this person definitely is someone who, like I said before, they have these kind of monsters within and they may have not really told you or told anybody about that. I didn't know what I had until you were gone. Lesson learned. I think that's part of their anger I'm getting. I know the clock is ticking for us. Won't you wait for me? I'm not ready to talk. I will only push you away. I feel like I've lost you and I'm not coping well with it. Hurting you was never my intention, but now it's hurting me too. And at the bottom we have so much has happened between us. Can we work through it again? I miss you. And let me pull any final cards about timing. If anything needs to come through. Okay, so something here could happen within a month 
we do have at the bottom within the next three weeks. So it could be something within three weeks to a month, uh, maybe communication. We do have the Eight of Wands over here in the Chariot. So possibly, um, also I'm getting to that there may be like a lift when it comes to the heaviness of this connection in about that time frame too. Yeah, again, within a few weeks. This also kind of flew out with it. So for some, it could be within a few days at the bottom up to two months. So it seems like it's anywhere between a month to two months that there may be something that shifts here. The sun. Okay, so that's what it is. The sun twice. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I feel like it's about healing. It feels like somebody again is recovering or maybe even that both of you or you, somebody is recovering King of Swords. And it feels like within a month to two months, it's a sense of getting more clarity, getting a feeling of coming out of this, maybe like monster energy or coming out of this um, hermit, Knight of Swords, the High Priestess. Um, so for some, it's definitely coming outward into the open with the wounds that we've been struggling with. And especially this person, I feel too, there's somebody who could be having profound kind of realizations in that time period. And they're going to try to strategize in about that time. Okay, so there's Knight of Swords again. So they're kind of like going to be a little bit uncomfortable with themselves because they're having a lot come out to the open about who they are and the things that they've hidden within themselves. So they're going to be struggling to make the next move kind of in that time, but they will be doing a lot of strategizing and thinking um, about this judgment and the chariot energy. Yeah, so many things remind me of you. It's like feeling kind of reminded by situations here with, this, with you, um, but trying to get their life back together here and needing to kind of go back and forth between this Knight of Swords, King of Swords to figure out how to do that. So I hope that this reading could help. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel and let me know in the comments if it resonated and how. And um, take care, lots of love, and I'll talk to you next time.